smooth scotch, 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 wonderful, delicious scotch. Mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Mm, mm, mm. I love scotch. It loves me. You can't have scotch. Be very bad for you. No drunk titties in this video. But listen, folks, remember, like, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, we did the TikTok viral pasta, the baked feta pasta. And it was good, right? It was good. I really liked it, but I think we can improve on it. Definitely. All right. So that's what we're going to do today. The TikTok pasta 2.0. Going to make it better. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Go on. I'll get you some treats in a minute. He's got some treats that one of you sent him. Cheryl Williams, thank you very much. He got some treats, I got some treats. In fact, this t-shirt that I'm wearing now she sent me. Perfect fit, it's nice and comfortable. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Big kiss to you. So hold on to your hat, sit tight, watch all the way through so you don't miss a step. And don't forget to subscribe. Do it, because you love me and I love you. What do we need to do first? That's it, roast the red pepper. Right, come on, let's go. So what I've got here then is a red bell pepper and some scotch. Scotch is for me. And the red bell pepper, which we're gonna stick on the gas hob, just on the ring like that. I'll show you why in a second. Then I'm just gonna turn the gas on, okay? Nice and high. If you haven't got a gas hob, you can just kind of roast it off in the oven, no problem at all. And literally, all you're gonna do is just turn it every few seconds and you want the outside of the skin to be completely black and charred. You want it to look like a smoker's lung at the end. <coughs> it's gonna take a few minutes. See you in a bit. After a few minutes, that's what you're left with. There's your smoker's lung. And I know what you're thinking, Adam has gone crazy, he's completely lost it. But that's what you want, that's what you're looking for. Trust me, I'm a cook. And I'm gonna stick that in a bowl, and you need to leave that to cool down. And I've got my tomatoes here. Now I'm using a mixture of some honey drop tomatoes, and I've also got some little piccolinis here. Use whatever tomatoes you've got. But I'm using a mixture of the two because well, the different sweetnesses, different flavours. It's just adding more layers of flavour, which can only be a good thing. But what I need to do is pick these off the vine and get them into our dish. And that's a boring job. You don't want to see that. See you in a second. Look at that. It's not even summer yet, but what a beautiful ray of sunshine, uh, of tomatoes. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. Oh, right, onto the feta. Feta. Now, one of the complaints I've read across the internet about this recipe is the feta itself. Because feta is a very powerful, strong cheese. It's very salty, it's quite acidic. Now, I like that. I liked it in the pasta. I quite enjoyed that kind of flavor. But it is very strong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna use half feta. We're gonna add some other cheeses in there as well. But I'm gonna start off with just half a block and I've just cut right through the packet. That's clever of you, wasn't it? And then I'm gonna stick that on top of my tomatoes. No, wait, gotta add the olive oil first, don't we? Oh, get organized. Right, so I'm gonna add some olive oil to the tomatoes, plenty of it. Some cracked black pep and just a little pinch of salt as well. All right, I'm gonna stick the feta on now. On it goes. And I'm gonna stick in my three cloves of garlic. See, those tomatoes, it doesn't look like enough. Did I get my measurements wrong last time? Hold on. Yes, you did get the measurements wrong, you absolute muppet. So on top of that, we're gonna add some oregano, just like last time. Some chili flakes, again, same as last time. I'll put a few more in this time, because I want a bit more heat. Right, so I've got my smoker's lung here. It should be cool enough to handle. And what you want to do is just take the pepper just take off all that charred skin. But under no circumstances, rinse it under the tap. If you do that, you're gonna wash away all that charred flavor. And we want that in this pasta. And you don't have to get every single little bit off, just most of it. All I'm gonna do with it, it's just like you would a normal pepper. Just take off that end bit. Take out the seeds, take out that core. Then just slice it up. Then we're just gonna chuck that in. A bit more olive oil on the top. And I'm also going to add about half a chopped red onion, just roughly chopped. Oh, it's going to be glorious, this. And like before, this can go in the oven. This is why garlic is not your friend. You can paper everywhere, get stuck on your hands, ruining your life in the kitchen. Bastard. And much like before, we're going to cook that for, what was it? About 30, 40 minutes. Gas mark five. All right, chill out with your bike. So now you've got some free time. Sit down, relax, stroke the cat, play some games, watch some TV, play with yourself, play with someone else, play with multiple people. Do what you want. Do what you want. 
Absolute state of you. You're right down there. Say hello to your fans. <laughs> or yawn at them. Right, so the tomato mixture is almost cooked. Now, the reason I used half a block of feta is I wanted to kind of take back that acidity a bit. We're going to balance that out with some different cheeses. So it's going to be three cheeses in this. It's going to be a cheesy affair. And I've got some Gouda or Gouda, or if you want to pronounce it properly, it's Howder. 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 I probably butchered that pronunciation. Sorry if you are Dutch. Now this particular one has truffle in it. I didn't purposely go out seeking truffle howder, but it's got truffle in it and it's just going to add extra flavour. If you don't like truffle, just find normal howder. So we're going to grate these up. I've got some parmesan as well. And I didn't put these in at the beginning because if they cook too long, the fat's going to split and you're going to end up with a greasy, oily mess. So I'm going to grate this up. Oh, it's been out of the fridge for a bit too long. It's a bit <laughs> difficult to grate, to be honest. If you're going to grate it, make sure it's fridge cold. You'll have a much easier life. Get that on a plate. Get the parmesan and grate some of that as well. Cheese is grated up. They're ready to go. Again, it's just more waiting. So we are nearly there. Tomatoes and the cheese and everything else is almost done. We're about 10 minutes away. So I'm going to get my pasta on. And boy, have I got a pasta today. Look at the state of this. Is that not the most beautiful pasta you've ever seen in your life? And literally, I've only bought it because it looks like that. It's not going to add any flavour benefit, I'm sure. But look at it. How could I not use that in this dish? Let's get it in the pan. In it goes. Sort of. Look at it. It's like flipping artwork. Don't know whether I should eat it or flipping hang them in the Tate Modern. But anyway, I'm going to cook those for about 10 minutes. And then we should be ready to combine all the ingredients and make that TikTok viral pasta better, we hope. 3,000 whoop who's later. Right, pasta's pretty much done. Let's get this out the oven. Ugh, it's hot. Ooh. Right, so we've got the dangerous task now of getting the flipping garlic out of them skins. Squeeze them out. Burnt myself last time. And again, just gonna mash everything else together. Same as before. I think what I am going to do is just take off a bit of that olive oil. I think I went a bit overboard. Then in with our pasta. This flipping wonderful looking pasta, look at that. And obviously you would just use normal pasta, you wouldn't go to this flipping extreme. And the cheeses, get those in as well. And I'm going to start tearing in some basil leaves and we just mix it all up. It sounds great, listen to this. ASMR again on this channel. And I think I'm just going to add about half a ladleful of the pasta water. Just kind of loosen it up to your desired consistency. That is done. That is ready to go. So I'm going to dish this up and we'll taste it and see if it's any better. Right, let's see if it's any better. That's, that's a big mouthful, but I've got a big mouth, so let's go in. I'm going to say it. It's better. It's less acidic because we've not used so much feta. It's a bit of extra heat in there because I added a bit more chilli. But it's a much creamier pasta. You can definitely taste the parmesan. That ooey gooey gouda or howder. Yes, it's a definite improvement. I'm not just saying that because I've made it. Oh, sorry buddy. You want to come in? Well, come on then. I've got all day. Oh, dear. Who made you king of the castle? I'm king of everything, bitch boy. And actually, I think it's one of those sort of pastas that you can play around with and add what you like. With those sort of smoky charred peppers as well. Really good. So there we have it. Simple. My TikTok viral pasta version 2.0. Something like that. I don't know what I'll call it yet. But listen, the question was, can we improve the TikTok viral baked feta pasta? Yes. Yes, you can. But I think the key thing is use half the feta and then use other cheeses to kind of make up the right amounts. Because I can understand like people with that acidity in that feta, it's very strong, it's very overpowering, it can be a bit too much. But there we go, I'm done. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, stick a like on it. Share it to all your friends and family and your enemies because they will become your best friends when you show them delicious pasta. And don't forget to subscribe because it's too many of you that are not subscribed. And I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. And bye for now.